The Rambam writes in his Chuvot that were put together in several different Chachamim put them together in the responses. One of the publications called Blau based on the Chacham that put it together has the Chuvah of the Rambam has the answer of the Rambam to different Shailot different questions that he was asked. In a publication of Blau in Chelek Bet, Siman 261, the Rambam is asked a question about the significance of the Kriya Mizmorim Betfila, all of the different songs, if you will, of prayer that we have at the you know beginning of the Tfila. And the Rambam writes to this simple one-line question, about 30 or more lines of answers. Where initially he says, it's beautiful, it's teachings of Musar that is going to help a person aim their heart to have kavana when they're praying. But he didn't believe that it was necessary for a person to do this in a shul. In fact, he thought that it would be a mistake to do it in shul because people should do this at home should already be prepared to pray before they even get to shul. Because if we make everybody do this in the synagogue, perhaps it could make it difficult for certain people, elders or people that uh, are weak, or even somebody that was just circumcised that day, like a convert or someone that wasn't circumcised, a young person he mentions. These people, if you make uh, the, the tefillah so long, They may not come, or they may suffer from it, or if they come late. But he says the bigger mistake is, is that people spend a lot of their time singing instead of focusing their kavana on the main tefillah. And so when it comes to getting to the main part of the tefillah, that's an obligation, they start hurrying up and reading it abruptly, reading it as fast as possible, and clearly making a mistake of all mistakes, the Rambam says. Because if they really believed that they were praying to God, asking Him for help, praising Him for His majesty, admiring His ability, thanking him if they really thought they were praying to god then where would they get the idea that it's good to hurry this part up and he says a person that does not rebuke his chazan the cantor for praying too fast the parts that are supposed to be prayed with full kavana person doesn't rebuke him as a sinner says the rambam because surely we know says the rambam that Avodat Hashem, the servitude of Hashem with the mouth, is only being fulfilled if a person has full intention to delve into the words and know their meaning. Because if you don't have that kavana and you just pray fast just for the sake of finishing, then the decree, the judgment on that prayer, says the Rambam, is the prayer of a drunk or a parrot that simply repeats what they heard somebody tell them to say. Here the Rambam is trying to tell us that we're really supposed to have a lot of kavana in every part of our prayer. And that's actually what the goal of the Psuket Zimra It's supposed to be Musar teachings and different things that are going to scare you in order to prepare you. One example is when we pray in the beginning of Shachrit where it says, That a person should always be fearing of heaven in private and in public and always admit to the truth. Here the Sidu that we all read talks us talks about how aside from a Kadosh Baruch Hu's 
extraordinary kindness and greatness we also have to recognize our, our own limitation how we are nothings how we depend on a kadosh baruch Hu. how our existence is of is inconsequential to him that although he loves us he doesn't need us that everything is for his sake for the honor of his name what are we what is our life what is our kindness what is our righteousness what is our power what is our might what can we possibly have to say in front of you Hashem our God the God of our forefathers that all of the heroes are like nothing in front of you that the people of fame of the past is as if they never existed the wise were as if was as if they had no knowledge and the intelligence was as if they had no understanding all of our actions are void and the days of our lives are worthless why why do we say these horrible things to start off the day because these are the type of things that when a person understands what it said it softens their heart and prepares it to connect to the almighty so of course we're not at the level to be like the rambam and have full kavana with every single word and it's amazing to hear stories of different chachamim that did have kavana like the rosh yeshiva that rabbi Ephraim had when he was a young boy in yeshiva rabbi Baruch Solomon, who had so much kavana when he would pray the psuke de zimra with tears and agony that by the time they got to amida he did not have the strength to get up he would have to have help he would have to grab something try it at home one time to have full kavana in every word that you pray in the morning the biggest manual labor in the world is nothing in comparison the point is that although we know we may not be at a level to have kavana in every word that we pray our Fahim teaches us that at the very least if we can't pray like that let's not learn like that let's not continue listening to shiurim without kavana let's not continue reading books without kavana let's not continue looking for something to calm us down let's not continue lying to ourselves and think that we have done enough all of us have to do tshuva whether you are a new bald tshuva or you're from from birth whether you are a talmidani yeshiva an avrech or rabbi if you're alive it's time to do tshuva the quicker a person understands it and starts applying it to their life the quicker they're back on the right direction they'll be full of blessing and Bezat Hashem success thank you for learning with me may Hashem bless each and every single one of us to succeed in fulfilling every words of the sages the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to because at the end of it all it's for us. Bauch Adonai Leolam. Amen v'amen. Let me know uh, what you think and make sure to share it because other people need to learn too.